At its core, Postgres data is simply stored as a set of files on disk. This means that if we wanted to back up a database, we would just need to copy all the database data files that are on disk. We can see the exact location of data files by running the command show data directory, which I have done right here. This show data directory command in Postgres displays the file system path of the data directory used by the currently running Postgres instance. The data directory contains all sorts of files, including configuration files, logs, and database files. If we list out the contents of this directory, so say I exit out of here, and I list out these contents, we get all of this. And an interesting directory in here is base directory, or the base directory. This is where all database data is held. Specifically, it contains the physical storage for individual databases. Each database in Postgres is represented by a separate subdirectory inside the base directory and has a unique identifier called a database OID. So if I go into here and list everything out, here are our OIDs. We can then get the name of the database and their corresponding OIDs by running a command. And what this command is, is select data name OID from PG underscore database. And we can see them listed right here. So we have blogs broken, which is basically my main database. We have the default Postgres database and some other ones called templates. And if we look, this corresponds with the folder ID that we have up here in the base directory. But so where is the actual data? Well, if we want to find the exact location of the Postgres data, we can use the PG relation file path function. And this function returns a relative path string from PostgreSQL's data directory that indicates where the physical storage for the relation resides on disk. So here, I want to do this for, I have a table called app user, and if I run this, we can see it's in the directory base, this object ID here, and then this number here. So this number here is another object ID, and it is the object ID of the app user table, which is a table in my database. So now I would just need to perform a hex dump on this location to see the data that is written to disk in this file. So if I exit out of here and then I run this command, so a hex dump, I get all this data written out and this is the actual Postgres data that we have saved in the table. So I can see something here, I have something about Python socket programming, multiple clients chat, which is something that they downloaded from this app user. We have some user information and this is the raw data. And if you don't know, this hex dump command down here is a Unix utility that outputs the raw contents of a file in a hexadecimal format. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing. Check out my courses and software in the description. Take it easy.